my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride I swear I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now What is up guys? Welcome to a brand new vlog and this one is a really special one for me because today I'm starting my road trip through the northeastern region of Brazil. I'll cross three states, Piauí, Maranhão and Ceará. I'll drive more than 4,000 kilometers and I'm gonna show you guys some of the most unique landscapes you have ever seen. They can only be found here in this region of Brazil, nowhere else in the world. So stay tuned guys because this road trip is about to start and it's gonna be awesome. I just crossed is actually an interstate bridge so Teresina is right on the border between Piauí and Maranhão I'm already in Maranhão which is the state of Chapada das Mesas my first destination on this road trip What? I know I just stopped to fulfill the tank and the guys were telling me that the, the highway I'm going to right now it's not in good conditions. Uh, it's the highway that Google Maps is showing me. Yeah, that was the beginning of the highway. Uh, I guess they were right. <laughs> but now it's good. Now it's well paved. Uh, it was just like two minutes. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. What a shit, man. You guys were right. This is the highway. This is a national highway. Believe it. First lesson of this road trip. Believe people. Believe what people say. Don't trust a hundred percent on Google Maps. Cause I love you, baby. I can't let you go, baby. I gotta tell you that I Well I have to say that the whole situation is actually getting me a little tense because I still have 40 kilometers more in this highway. Not many people passing by. Hey, my friend. Four more kilometers to go. More than an hour driving in this dirt road. And this highway is making me remind of a road I took in Honduras seven years ago when I was in my first round the world trip I was coming back from a coastal city called La Ceiba back to Tegucigalpa and the level of this highway here is really really similar to that one in Honduras take a look hey Frederico how is the road? And it also reminds me of a, of a road in Cyprus back in 2017 when I was on my oh, second round the world trip. It was really fun. We rented a, a buggy and we were just looking for dirt roads and flying the drone and filming everything. Take a look. It was really fun. Back to 
in this Brazilian reality. Coming from a big city like Rio, of course we see poverty there, it's everywhere. And it's mixed, like even in the neighborhoods, like the richest neighborhoods, there are some favelas. And you see many people, especially now in the pandemics, like uh, begging for money in the streets. The situation is not good here in Brazil. But when you come to places like this, you see the really simple people, uh, the really poor people that have like almost nothing to live. And they are just like making their lives in the middle of nowhere with really few money and really low conditions. It's crazy. Brazil is a crazy country. It's like it always gets you thinking about those things because uh, there are really developed places. There are places like this. But in two kilometers I'll be on a paved road and I hope I can go faster because I'm going at 40 or 50 kilometers per hour all the time, sometimes 20. Finally, we're back in a decent highway. Woohoo! Made it out alive, guys. <laughs> Finally, after more than an hour driving in that dirt road, I'm in a good highway. Uh, thankfully, all the four tires are perfect. I couldn't stop thinking all the time, oh my god, I cannot have a flat tire here. I didn't have phone coverage. Uh, I'm alone, traveling alone. There was nobody on the highway. I was gonna be so fucked up if I had to change the tire. I just did it once in my life. Okay, fine. Uh, nine more hours to go. So even though this highway is in really good conditions, it's always kind of dangerous to drive here in this, in this region of Brazil because there are animals on the highways. I remember 12 years ago I was doing a road trip here in the northeast. We had to pay a lot of attention because we saw cows, we saw goats, even horses, sometimes dead horses on the side of the, the road. Someone had hit them. so. Yeah, it's really well paved here, but you gotta focus 110% all the time. Holy shit, that's what the highway, the state highway turns into after one more small town. Que furada, meu irmão. Que perrengue. That's what we say when we are in a bad, shitty situation like this here in Brazil. Que furada. Once again, back on the asphalt. <laughs> Good to be back on a proper highway. I paid 180 reais right now uh, and I had spent 100 reais before so today I've spent around 55 dollars in fuel uh, this car is drinking more than me <laughs> so so far I've done 250 kilometers I still have 450 more to go I love this feeling of being in a road trip, that freedom, so nice to like feeling like you're in the middle of nowhere, in a completely unknown place for you. 
and let's go on. Uh, I just bought some snacks. I'm still not hungry to have lunch. Uh, let's drive. Let's keep driving, guys. It's old. Shit. Carolina, that's my goal for today. Uh, it's my destination in this day of trip. Uh, this city is the base for you to explore Chapada das Mesas, which is my first destination on this road trip here in the Northeast. Chapada das Mesas is called like this because it's a region of mountains with flat tops. How beautiful is that? Come on! Uh, many waterfalls, the sunsets there are amazing. And that's our first destination in this road trip. Of course, after this, I'm going to the coast side and that's when it gets really, really unique. You guys gotta check what Lençóis Maranhenses has to offer. So I'm back in a national highway. So far, the conditions are really good here. And this is a special highway because it's the BR-230 or Rodovia Transamazônica. Yeah, that's it. There's a highway starting in the northeast part of Brazil going to the north and it crosses all the Amazon states and the Amazon jungle. Uh, people say that when you go that way to the Amazon, the situation of the highway is terrible, it's not paved at all, but here in the northeast, so far, it's really good. <laughs> Side of northeast Brazil is known as Sertão, and one of the things they produce the most here is sugar cane. So, you see, four kilometers I've been driving surrounded by sugar cane plantations everywhere. A hundred kilometers ahead, I decided to stop by another gas station to eat something more decent and I'm actually really surprised by the speed I came on Transamazonica Highway. I came on an average of 130 kilometers easily. Really, really good highway. 23 reais for a lot of food, a coke and a coffee. Nice, no? So the Trans-Amazon Highway keeps crossing some small villages and towns on its way. Those towns have been created with the highway. Like the government was uh, trying to convince people to come to those places and develop them so that the highway had some life around it. And all those little villages, they really look like each other just small houses uh, they're kind of cute I'm arriving in the city of Balsas which is the last big city before Carolina big city maybe uh, I have to refill the tank you know try to get some money and I'll make it to Carolina today. There is even traffic jam in Balsas. After one kilometer at the roundabout, take the first exit. Sure, no worries. Hundred and sixty more reais of fuel. All right, got the money. Now let's drive to Carolina. I was thinking about sleeping here in Balsas today, especially if I was feeling really tired after driving more than 600 kilometers or something like this. But I'm actually feeling fine, not tired at all. So I'll go to Carolina today and tomorrow I'll already have the whole day to enjoy Chapada das Mesas. Last 150 kilometers.
And the guy who gave me the indication of the ATM also told me something that changes completely <laughs> what I was telling you guys about the Trans-Amazon Highway. It, yes, it is the Trans-Amazon Highway. I'm not so lost. But it's not sugar cane. All those farms, they are soy farms. Which makes all the sense because Brazil is the biggest producer of soy, of soy in the whole world. They look so much like sugar cane. <laughs> I could never tell it was soy. This is still the Trans-Amazon or Trans-Amazonian Highway, but I have a suggestion for a change of name, at least here in the state of Maranhão. It could be called the Trans-Soyan, because <laughs> there's no forest or jungle here, it's just soy everywhere. Chapada das Mesas is saying welcome Fred and welcome everybody on the Hit the Road Fred channel. And it is official, I'm finally in Carolina. Five days, pretty simple once again, but it's fine. Here's the toilet. Once again, spacious, to spacious toilet and ugly toilet. So for this room, I paid 300 reais or less than $60 for five nights. It's like $12 a night, really, really cheap. Of course, couldn't be luxurious, <laughs> but it's fine for me. I'm gonna be out the whole day, and when I come back, I just wanna sleep, and the bed seems to be okay. That's it. If you guys are still watching this road tripping day vlog, thanks a lot, it means a lot to me. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up, also subscribing to my channel because there's going to be a lot more content on Brazil and other South American countries. Guys, that's it. Welcome to Carolina, welcome to Chapada das Mesas, and see you guys tomorrow doing some adventure around this beautiful place in Brazil.